I'm Captain Sophia Pyle from Ohio University Army ROTC, Bobcat Battalion. We are at the land navigation site on Fort Knox, Kentucky. The cadets are out here for three days. The first day we focus on retraining cadets, making sure they are confident in their land navigation skills, both written and their execution. The first day they also take their written exam. The second day they have time to come out here and do the whole practice test, where they run through both the day and the night iterations. Followed by the third day is where they culminate and they do the actual testing portion, where they're tested on their day and their night land navigation skills. It's important for cadets to know land navigation because they're expected to be the experts at land navigation. They're going to be leading soldiers when they get to their units when they commission from this program and it's their job not to get their soldiers lost. It's an individual skill that every soldier goes through basic training and they have to train and they have to pass land navigation. It's the same expectation for cadets except for the end game is they are leading soldiers. Hi, I'm Carter Campbell from Clemson University and we're here at the land navigation site on Fort Knox, Kentucky. The biggest thing for me in land navigation is terrain association. Uh, if you're not walking with your map in hand and you don't know where you are, you're most likely in the wrong spot. Map is the only thing you can really trust out on a land nav site, and if you know where you are, you know where the points are. I go to a great program where we go and do land nav about once a month, and throughout our MS3 year, we've done it consistently as a class and on our own. My message to everyone is to remember your training, don't panic, and embrace the suck.